And today we're going to be checking out this two-in-one audio adapter. Let's get to it. All right, so here's the audio adapter right here. Check this little guy out. It's nice and compact. Probably just a little bit larger than an Apple AirTag. It's also going to come with a 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter adapter. And you're going to get a USB-C to USB cable. And it has a USB-C to USB cable for recharging the device. It does have an internal battery to make install very easy. If the battery dies, you just simply pull it off, use your cord to charge it back up, and you're ready to go again. Now this can be set up in multiple ways. On the side here, you have a receive and transmit button. So if you had two of these, you could actually transmit, like adapt your phone, plug one into your phone, plug the other one into a speaker, and it would make it Bluetooth connectable. How cool is that? Now today I'm in my car and I'm going to use it to actually turn my car radio into a Bluetooth device so I can listen to my music. And when you're listening to music and have it connected to your phone, you can see you have all the controls like skip forward, skip back, play, pause, answer calls, hang up on calls, all the buttons that you need. Let's go ahead. We're going to bring the camera down. We're going to install it. We're going to connect my phone to it and we're gonna see how clean the connection is. Okay, so to install this device, all you have to do is connect the 3.5 millimeter adapter, which I have right here. And I just have to simply plug that in to my auxiliary port on my car stereo. Now you can plug this into external speakers, you can use it with PCs, you can use it with cell phones. If this isn't convenient for you with the adapter, with it hanging out, then you can just get a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter cord and run it from here to here as well. But for me, the adapter works just fine. So we're gonna just plug it in and we're good to go. Now to turn the device on, you just push and hold. And you can see it's ready to pair. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my Bluetooth. We are now connected. It listed on the Bluetooth as C79. So now we're going to go ahead, we're going to turn the vehicle on. We're going to put the car radio in auxiliary mode. I'm going to pull up some music. Okay, so we do have it hooked up to the radio now. And we're going to turn it up. I can't play too much of the music just due to copyright stuff. But uh, let's go ahead. You can hear the music is playing. All right, I switch songs. Let's go ahead and switch songs again. We can pause. And it just works as it is. Now, the whole point of this is to make devices Bluetooth. If you need, if you have two objects that don't have Bluetooth, you just buy one of these. One can be the transmitter, one can be the receiver. If you're just trying to connect your phone to auxiliary devices and you just need one, and it's a very cool little handy device. I hope this video helps, and thanks for watching.